So Foxy Brown is finally coming out to reveal how Jay-Z allegedly used her and abused her when she was just a teenager and he was a grown man. It's been years since these events took place and Foxy's revelations are causing the internet to see Jay-Z in a new light because some of the things she claims he did are downright horrible. But did Jay-Z really manipulate her, then get her blacklisted by Hollywood? And why is Foxy coming out after all this time? Allegedly a romantic thing. It's, it's all right, I'll say alleged, but we know we know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she hit it before Beyonce. <gasps> So if you are among the thousands of fans who have been wondering how and why Foxy Brown disappeared from the industry, well, it's your very lucky day because she is finally revealing what happened to her in the industry. It turns out that Jay-Z might have been the brains behind why Foxy's career tanked. And as if that's not bad enough, Foxy is claiming that Jay-Z had her blacklisted in Hollywood after he allegedly used her and abused her for years. Now this is yet another allegation against Jay-Z and at this point, what is new but Foxy's case is kind of different from the other cases because there are some receipts to back up her revelations and so it's not like she's just making baseless accusations about him but even more several people in the industry allegedly know about the allegations Foxy is making so it looks like she's not making up any lies against him now for the past couple of years people have always kind of assumed that the reason behind Foxy's career taking a nosedive is her beef with Lil' Kim now for those of you who don't know, Little Kim and Foxy have had a very nasty beef for the longest time and shots were literally fired. Foxy did try to make peace with Kim and Kim was not interested in letting go of the beef. It's Russell and I, um, you know, the president of my record company, we, we got together and I said, Russell, I want to call a truce. I said, I want to have a sit down with Kim and I want to actually, you know, I don't care what it is. I don't care what it, just end it. Let's end it. But it turns out that we were wrong about that and Lil' Kim had nothing to do with it because it's been about Jay-Z all along. And it's kind of wild that Jay-Z would do Foxy dirty like that because they literally go way back. I mean, Foxy met Jay-Z back in the day when she was starting off in Hollywood and they collaborated on a couple of songs that performed very well. And they were good friends, or so we thought. But there were a couple of red flags about their friendship from the very start. But I mean, that was the 90s and conversations about grooming were not as popular as they are today. Jay-Z was in his mid-20s when they first started collaborating, while Foxy was only 14 or 15 years old. I know that collaborations happen between artists of all ages, but the types of songs that Jay-Z had Foxy singing were super inappropriate for her age. He mostly wrote her verses for the song collaborations, and let me tell you, the verses he wrote for her were way too grown. No child her age should have been rapping those types of lines. For for example, in the song Ain't No Man, he gave her the lines, Ain't no man like the one I got, a one can F you better. Sleeps around, but it gives me a lot, keeps you in diamonds and leathers. Friends to tell me I should leave you alone. Ha ha, tell the freaks to find a man of their own. Still a bob, but Jay-Z was dead wrong to have a 15-year-old singing those types of lines. Like, what on earth was he thinking? But if you think that that's bad, well, it gets even worse. Jay-Z and Foxy continued their professional relationship and he co-wrote her song Il Nana and the lyrics were much more vulgar. In the song, Foxy rap, Yo Nana so ill, first week out, shipped a half a meal, men freaked out. She's all about sex, pardon, check your facts and check record. I'm all about plaques, shaking my butt half naked, loving this life, who got the illest on the planet? Sugar walls coming down and niggas can't stand it, the ill Nana. And if you're wondering why on earth she meant by Nana, of course she talk about her hoo-ha. But a grown man writing those types of lyrics for a 15 year old where she was talking about her hoo-ha has got to be one of the craziest things we've heard in Hollywood and y'all know that we've heard a lot of pretty wild things in this here Hollywood but he continued to write some pretty vulgar and inappropriate songs from her and many of these super vulgar Foxy Brown songs from the 90s had Jay-Z's input back then she was known for her raw lyrics and while I'm not saying that Jay-Z was completely responsible for all her songs he did co-write a number of them and its influence was undeniable so how on earth did he go from working so closely together and hid in the studios to Jay-Z blackballing her and ruining her career in the industry. Well, it turns out that the things between Foxy and Jay had gone beyond what people knew. They had taken things from the studios into the bed 
bedroom allegedly. And word on the streets is at the time it's that they were romantically involved. Well, I don't know if I would exactly call it romantic because there was no romance involved. Just a good old roll in the hay if you know what I mean. In fact, there were rumors that Jay-Z was the first man that Foxy had been with and she was a minor at the time. Allegedly, it was something of an open secret in the industry and he was something of a sugar daddy for her, which was weird again because she was 15 and he was in his mid to late 20s. But rumor has it that he funded some pretty lavish shopping sprees for her and he paid for her nails, her hair, and that sort of thing. But y'all wanna know something even more interesting? Sources in the industry revealed that Jay-Z allegedly gave Foxy an STD while they were messing around together. Y'all should go back and talk to all of the that she slept with in Philly when she was in Philly. She burned every last one of them. She said more to the clinic than COVID. Oh my goodness. So she clearly wasn't the only woman that Jay-Z was messing with, but she was the secret since Jay-Z never went public with their affair. I mean, it's not like he had a choice because he would have gone to the pokey because of her age. There were even more rumors that Foxy had gotten upset at a party and spilled the tea about her relationship with Jay-Z. She even allegedly claimed that they had an adult tape together that was in her possession. But not long after she made these alleged allegations, her home got robbed and the tape got stolen, which is just very sus. But Foxy later spoke to TMZ to deny ever making these allegations. And she said, the atrociousness of this story sticking me to my stomach. In all my years in the music industry, these are the most disgusting and disrespectful allegations I've ever experienced. This fictitious story with no audio, visual, or written interview clearly was was concocted with malicious intent. Jay has only been wonderful to me and my family, a great friend throughout all the years I've known him, and we had nothing but great success as a team. Child, I don't know who telling the truth, but it's a big mess. But like I said, people in the industry kinda said they knew what was going on, but they kept their mouth shut. When Nick Cannon tried to ask Jay-Z's former friend about it, Dame evaded the question. It seems like you got a question for Jay. Ask him. <laughs> Don't ask me his questions, so I'm not taking them. I'm not just, okay. Y'all can keep asking me questions. We're moving on. Y'all keep asking me questions y'all want to ask him, because he ain't here. <laughs> ask him. I to do with that and I don't even know nothing about that. Nas even alluded to this affair in his song Ether where he said, Foxy got you hot cause you kept your face in a pee. What you think you getting girls now cause of your looks? So again, this is showing that it was an open secret in the industry that everybody knew about. But as long as she was with Jay-Z, there was nothing that anyone could do or say to her because she was under his protection. Well, she soon started to grow up and mature and she realized how messed up her relationship with Jay-Z was. She started to grow a mind of her own and she no longer felt comfortable with being his little secret plaything. This eventually led Jay-Z to not only end things with her personally, but also end things with her professionally. And he stopped collaborating with her. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he also blacklisted her in the industry. Sources claimed that Jay-Z made sure that nobody wanted to work with her in the industry and she found herself in that tough situation that was made worse by the fact that she had beef with some people in the industry. And it all made things worse for her. It's just crazy about this story of how Jay-Z messed with a teenager and dumped her when she realized she no longer wanted to live that type of life. Well, the streets are definitely talking and people have come and saying, well, she she went through a lot and she has a right to be angry. I pray she can get through her ordeal and start talking about it. Opening up takes time with the news. She was so young. I'm disgusted that this happened. She was hella lyrically talented. She was so beautiful and her antics. We all cut up like her in our teens. Yes, we all had the neighborhood D-boys over our age picking us up from high school. She was done dirty by Jay and all those around her. And Jay-Z uses people and hopscotches right over them like nothing ever happened. She has alluded to the fact that she's been hurt for years due to how he did her. But out of loyalty and respect, she never fully exposed everything until now. But I gotta know what y'all think about Foxy's story. Do you think that she's just looking for clout or is there some truth to this? Let me know what you think in the comments and then check out this next video.